You know, I don't always want to defend Senor Trump. But if people are just going to throw out non-arguments, then I feel compelled to call you Whoopi Goldberg. And I don't mean the good Whoopi Goldberg from the movie Ghost, either. A question for you because Trump you talk about... You, you talk about... I am not, Judge. Nobody no, is... I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yes! Listen, I don't have Trump yes. derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of... I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. Doesn't happen. I'm tired of people starting a conversation about this country. Listen, I'm 62 years old. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. You mean the media and yes? I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. Oh my God, dismissive, the travesties. Clearly you don't watch the show, so you don't know that I don't suffer from that. What I suffer from is the inability to figure out how to fix this. That's my issue, but... Oh, I just love Judge Shanine's face here. It's the, you still don't get it, do you, look? One of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there, and who's running it? Clearly this is Whoopi's, I'm going to try to mock you question, as she clearly just looks to the camera. Listen, Whoopi, we kind of know that you aren't having these conversations going this way. It's pretty obvious. And we also know that it's mostly the media, mostly the left-leaning, but not all of them, that are the ones whipping up the hate. And if you want to sit here and mock the deep state as if there hasn't been a Bush or Clinton in the office for, like, what, 20, 25 years in the White House, then you do so at the risk of looking foolish and uninformed. There has been a certain section of society that's become more aware of their political surroundings and the manipulation of the media on behalf of such political actors. And Whoopi, among others, who used to say things like, the system is corrupt, you can't trust the government, they're up to no good. They have now chosen to side with that corrupt government who's trying to hold on to their power. And that's what the deep state means. And now an outsider comes in and, and you want that rig system back. You want the crooked uh, government to come in and tell you what to do again. You, you're, they're begging for them to come back. And it makes no sense. They are choosing to side with the corrupt system that they used to hate. You choo choo choose me? They want to go back to having less information, having less transparency in the news, not talking about news or politics. They want to go back to the, the zombie land, to the matrix where everybody was unaware of all the stuff that our world leaders were doing. They want to go back and defend the establishment they used to hate, and why? Because the TV told them to. So after this argument, Whoopi cries and she kicks Judge Janine out of the studio and out of the building. And this is what Janine had to say after the fact. This is what she said to Sean Hannity. When I went off the stage, Sean, I'm walking downstairs and I said something like, Whoopi, I fought for victims my whole life and she came to me as I was leaving and she said, F you in my face, literally spitting at me, F you, get the F out of this building. And I said, did you just say that? She said, that's what I said, get the F out of this building. And she was screaming at me, and I'm walking out of the building like a dog who was just kicked off. So you can decide for yourself who's telling the truth or who is not. Personally, for me, I tend to go with the person who is not as unhinged in situations like this. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was either. Uh, I just typed in unhinged and that movie clip came up. It isn't democratic socialism very close to liberalism? I mean, no. no. I mean, well, think about it for a second. Medicare, Social Security, uh, well, garbage that's... collection, the post office, but the library. I agree with you. That's all well, I agree with you because we, we have... Joy Behar. Joy Behar has the arguments of a teenager who stands there saying that they hate capitalism, drinking Starbucks while using their iPhone. Those are social services, Joy not socialism. Garbage collection is not the same as the government taxing you 90%, let's say, and trying to give you everything for free until the government collapses and runs out of money. It's not the same in the same scale. It's not the same ethos. It just doesn't compare. Garbage day. No garbage day. We can't, we can't do garbage day today. This is a good time to mention that if you want to support my fascist agenda, you can do so by going to Patreon. The link is on the screen now and in the description. See, all that stuff costs money, and I noticed they're leaving out a lot of the stuff that she actually has on her platform, like 
all the dumber stuff like gun control which means no guns to them no borders guaranteed government jobs it's pretty simple let's say everybody gets a free house what's that a hundred million people in america so who's going to build all these houses how long is it going to take who gets them first then you have the argument of who deserves them more first if there's not enough people to build these houses are you going to force them it just all doesn't make any sense where does all this money come from all you have to do for these types of ideas is think of the very first counter argument and then the whole thing falls apart but they don't do that. This makes my head explode, which, by the way, I hope Democrats do run a Democratic Socialist. You hope that just, we win? Do you win? Do you uh, the Democrats no, because I think you'll lose spectacularly, and then I will look forward to election night when I finally get to tell everybody I told you so if you end up running a radical. Problem with socialism, in the words of Margaret Thatcher, at a certain point you run out of spending other people's money. Venezuela, one of the richest countries <coughs> in the world in the 70s. Now, the average Venezuelan has lost 24 pounds because they're starving to death. 90% of I the country is living in poverty. I think she's talking more about scandal. Scandinavia than Venezuela. I, but I'm sorry. I need. This is what I need from her. Name one country that socialism has ever worked. And also every Sweden. every democratic socialist Copenhagen, who is going um, on TV Denmark, saying that it's good Norway, needs to start paying Finland, 90 percent in taxes Iceland. on your tax form. No, on you your tax name form. Name. On your tax form, I think you should start paying the amount of taxes that every socialist in this country thinks you need to. Because if you think the government is so good at okay. spending money, look at the VA. Oh, no, no but what because about it is dangerous. I just told you several countries that do it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, everybody, God bless you all. I hate that, that. Hold on. Consider the fact that Joy Behar is on television, gets paid a lot to talk about these things, and she doesn't bother to research them at all. She knows nothing about them, she just says things that she heard other people say. And it's very clear, if you're informed at all on these issues, that she has the very baseline, first question, first response to pretty much everything. I know you hate the belt, then everybody stop talking over each other, and I won't hit the belt. the population of 300,000 people... <laughs> In any way, can can, in no count? way can be related in any way comparably to the United States of America. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, if you think ahead. it's good, then you need to be paying the amount of taxes that in let her, let, her, let her get her thing and go ahead. Let go because it's yeah. petrifying to me that go this ahead. is being normalized. All right. What about go ahead. Okay. So, you're saying you run out of people's money, tax other people's, people's, other people's money, Margaret Thatcher. Okay. I didn't say that. She's they have just given this enormous tax break to the very, very wealthy in this country. Mm -hmm. that, that tax break doesn't have to be so generous to those really rich people, does it? Case in point, the tax break. I don't know why people believe this when people say, oh, it's just for the billionaires. It's for everybody. So there's a good example right there. And when people always point to Scandinavia or Sweden, because they always do, you'll notice that people always go for Scandinavia on this one. They got their money through capitalism and they're losing their money through socialism. They didn't get to where they are by giving everything away. It doesn't make any sense. So people make the money, they raise the taxes and they piss it all away and you end up like something up here in Canada, like our healthcare system where, yes, you don't have to worry about paying for your health care up front, except you have ambulance fees, you have anesthesia, you have anesthesiologists, um, you have prescription drugs, you have emergency wait time. You even have extremely long surgery wait time, so much so that most people, if they have a major surgery and they can afford it, they go to the US because some people do die waiting for their surgeries. So like I said, everyone always goes Scandinavia, Sweden. Here's Ben Shapiro on the topic. Okay, so the first thing that's important to notice about the Nordic countries is that the Nordic countries are by and large extraordinarily ethnically homogenous. So they're not comparable uh, in terms of the, in terms of, and culturally homogenous as well. Uh, so Vermont looks a lot like Norway. Right, Bernie Sanders' yeah. philosophy works in Vermont and it works in Norway, but it only works for a temporary period of time because Vermont doesn't have its own defense budget and really neither does Norway, right? We've been paying for the Nordic countries' defense budgets for a long time. Also, it's worthwhile noting that the taxes in these countries are extraordinarily high and the countries are going bankrupt anyway. So for about a 15-year period, 20-year period, the Nordic countries have been experiencing extraordinarily slow growth, which has led them to actually elect more right-wing governments on economics and deregulate their economies because it turns out people don't like paying twice the amount that it costs for a normal car. Right? The, the, the income tax rate in, in places like Denmark for middle-class people, not for upper-class people, for middle-class people is like 60%. So, you know, it's easy for, for students to say 60% sounds good, but you all go to Yale, which means that eventually you'll have a job that pays you enough that you'll be paying a high percentage of your income in taxes and it ain't that much fun. Now, like I said, don't just go parrot what he said. Uh, look for different sources. Don't just look for what I said. I'll link to the Shapiro video. I'll link to a Crowder video because the Scandinavia argument, it's not just this utopia up there. Uh, they don't have money for everything. Uh, they have problems. 
problems with their immigration system. Just look how the government is trying to teach migrants just to treat women properly. The thing about this issue where people believe that socialism will solve everything and take care of everyone, there's a deeper lying issue here where fiscally it just doesn't make any sense and the money isn't even there to pay for something like free college or free healthcare even if you taxed every rich person there is in America. That is an entirely new topic for an entirely new video so I won't get too far into it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell somewhere in there if you want to. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Democrats have one talking point on taxes. It's a tax cut for the rich. And they say it over and over and over again in response to everything. The most important thing for you to know when you're at home is when they say rich, they mean taxpayer. Every time they say rich, they mean taxpayer. Why is it? Because the very rich, there aren't enough of them. You know, Bernie ran for president. He, he rolled out a tax plan. His tax plan was a massive t tax increase. If you took every single person in America making over a million dollars and you taxed them 100% of their income, you took every penny they earned, you came in in jack boots and confiscated it, it would pay 8% of the cost of Bernie's tax plan. You know where they get their money? They get it from you. They get it from the middle class. And in fact, I'll give a qu I'll quote from Bernie in the last debate, because he was very explicit. This isn't about taxing the rich. What the Democrats want to do is tax the middle class. Here's what Bernie said. This is a quote. So yes, to answer your question, Jake, if we can explain to people, yeah, you're going to be paying more in taxes. Now, he said it's going to be a progressive tax system. The wealthy are going to pay their fair share, not the middle class, not the working class, but everybody will pay some more. So... You're a single Ted, mom working, he says you, you're going to pay some more. You're a small business owner, he says hey, you're going to pay you, some more. And the reason is there aren't enough millionaires and billionaires no, to pay is, for all the socialism that Bernie and the Democrats want to give away. This is what a bad little mama is. She always with the shits. Put a hundred in my pocket and a hundred on the rims. That's my little bitch. That's, that's my little bitch. That's my little bitch. That's, that's my little bitch. Put a red dress on her and some gas for the trip. Got a hundred in my pocket and a couple on the tent. That's my little bitch. That's, that's my little bitch. That's my little